differentiating and equations of tangents. Further maths, GCSE. Okay, so we've got uh, an equation here, um, x cubed plus 5x squared plus 1, and we're asked when x equals minus 1, show the value of dy, show the value of dy by dx is minus 7. So what we need to do is differentiate this expression. To do that, we need to take each term in turn and use this rule where if we have um, a value, we're trying to differentiate x to the n, um, then we take 1 off the power, so it becomes n minus 1, so 1 less than what it was, and then the n comes down in front of the x and we times by it, so we've got n lots of x to the n minus 1. So how does that work in, in this case? So we've got x cubed, so we differentiate with respect to x the, the y, which is all this, so we type the, the 3 here becomes a 2 because we take 1 off the power and the 3 comes down in front of the x and the next term becomes just x to the power of 1 which is just x and the 2 comes down to make 10 because 2 times 5 is 10 and any constant term just goes to nothing, goes to 0 so as this is our differential, this is the equation of the um, the gradient of the curve y which is this this curve here so when x is this implies when x equals minus 1 dy by dx equals 3 lots of minus 1 squared plus 10 times minus times minus 1 so minus 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 10 lots of minus 1 is minus 10 so we end up with 3 minus 10 which is minus 7 so we have showed that it's minus 7 Work out the equation of the tangent at the point where x equals minus 1, or well, the tangent to a curve. So if I've got a curve of some description and I'm looking at a certain point um, here where x equals minus 1, then the tangent, um, this straight line, is of the form y equals something x plus something. The something x is what we call the gradient which is what this this uh, differential does. This is the gradient function. So that tells us the gradient of the tangent at any value of x. So we just take that um, function, uh, 3x squared plus 10x, where uh, x equals minus 1. We've actually worked this out, so I don't really write all that. Which uh, implies um, dy by dx equals minus 7, so we just did all that. So that tells us that y equals minus 7x plus a constant, a number c. Okay, so we know um, that at this point this equation must be satisfied. So if I actually go back, so this, this is in common to this curve and this straight line. So if I go back to our original equation and say x equals minus 1, so when x is minus 1, y equals um, minus 1, so cubed is minus 1, so minus 1 squared is 1 times 5 plus 1, so we get 6 take away 1 which is 5, so we know when x is minus 1, y equals 5, so we can substitute those va values into here when x is minus 1, y equals 5, so 5 equals minus 7 times minus 1 plus the value that we're looking for. So 5 equals minus 7 times minus 1 is 7 plus the constant, so that tells us that c equals minus 2 because minus 2 plus 7 is 5. So our equation is y equals minus 7x minus 2. And there we have it.